On-screen takeoff has a quick and easy process for performing takeoff on sheets that represent repeated spaces, such as identical floors. The plans for these types of scenarios will usually list multiple levels of floors in the title, but the layout is only given in the plan set once. So how can you replicate that takeoff when you only have one sheet? The first step is to go ahead and complete the takeoff on the sheet in the usual fashion. Once the takeoff is complete, then select the cover sheet button at the top of the window to open the job's cover sheet. Navigate to the pages grid at the bottom of the cover sheet and find the page on which you performed the takeoff. Then, locate the column titled Repeats. The Repeats column is where you can indicate that the takeoff on a specific page repeats multiple times. So, locate the cell in the Repeats column for the image on which you performed your takeoff. In that cell, type in the total number of times that takeoff will be used, and then press Enter. So, for example, if you're working on a typical floor plan that says it's for floors 2 through 9, then you would type in 8 in the Repeats field. Once you press Enter, the program instantly creates a corresponding number of virtual sheets. These virtual sheets are representations of the repeated takeoff from your original sheet. You can't see the takeoff in each individual virtual sheet, but rest assured that now, your total takeoff results have been multiplied and are accurate. Let's look and see. First, back on the image itself, a green banner displays along the top of the page, indicating that this is a repeating page. It tells you how many times the page repeats, but also reminds you that the totals in the conditions panel on the left are still only representative of a single page. Also keep in mind that this sheet and all of the takeoff on it now serves as a master template for all of the repeated pages. Any changes made to this sheet are multiplied across all the repeated instances. To see your totals for all the repeated pages, go to the Takeoff tab. The totals listed on the Takeoff tab accurately represent the repeated takeoff. Essentially, the takeoff quantities you completed on the sheet have been multiplied by the number of repeats you indicated on the cover sheet. If you want to see the totals for each page, even the virtual sheets, right click on the screen and choose Group by Page. Now, the totals are broken out by each individual sheet. So far, this works well enough. However, what if you use the Bid Areas tool? If you assign the main takeoff to a bid area associated to a specific floor, how can you then break out all the multiplied takeoff to the other levels? To do this, open the Bid's cover sheet once again. Once in the cover sheet, the first step is to make sure that all the necessary bid areas have already been created. Do this by clicking the Areas button to the right. Please review the training video on bid areas for assistance with creating and assigning bid areas. Press OK to close the bid areas window once everything is in place. Then, navigate back to the Pages grid in the cover sheet. Select the Expand icon to the left of the primary image to display all the virtual sheets if they aren't already showing. Each of the virtual sheets has an Areas button to the right of it. Click on the first one. This opens a Virtual Page Area Assignments pop-up window. There are two columns here. The Master Page Areas column shows what bid area was used when you performed the takeoff on the original sheet. If you did not assign a bid area when you performed your takeoff, it displays as unassigned. The Virtual Page Assignment column is where you actually apply your bid areas to the virtual sheets. So click in the cell and navigate down the list of existing bid areas to find the one you want to apply to this sheet. Once you've selected the appropriate bid area, then press OK. Now click the Areas button for the next sheet in the list. Then make your next bid area assignment. If you have consecutive bid areas, you can also use the Next button at the top, and it then automatically cycles to the next sheet and assigns the next bid area in the list to it. Click OK to close the dialog. Repeat these steps as many times as necessary until your bid areas are assigned. If you only plan to use one bid area for each virtual sheet, like a floor number, you can assign those here in the cover sheet. However, if you want multiple bid areas to apply to each virtual sheet, you must set up each bid area on the master page first, so that those breakouts can be replicated across the virtual sheets. Once you've assigned bid areas to all the virtual pages, you can then go to the Takeoff tab to see the bid area breakout. Right-click, and this time choose Group by Area. Now, all the results are grouped by the corresponding bid areas rather than the page. 